This is the Breville Barista Pro, and today we're going to do a quick video on how to flush and descale this machine. You'll know it's ready to be cleaned when you see the flush descale indicator light up on the LCD panel here. Now for this video, I've pulled the machine out from its normal spot on our kitchen counter out here where it can be a little bit easier seen and um, got everything ready uh, that we're going to need for this for this job. So we've got a descaler solution. We've got filters for the water and we have a cleansing tablet um, and I'll put some links as to where you can find this equipment for, for the cleaning. You can see I've used one already and we'll use another one today. Okay, so the first step is to make sure that you have a full reservoir of water. So pop the reservoir off the back of the machine, fill it up entirely, and then put the reservoir back on. This first step is going to be about flushing the machine. So to flush, we've got to take the portafilter. I'm going to remove the double shot pressurized basket, which I typically use. And then behind your drip tray, you'll find all of your other uh, portafilter baskets. So if you grab the single shot and the flushing disc um, stopper here, what you want to do is take this single shot basket and this stopper, place it in, and use the cleansing disc here, put it on top of this stopper. So, so it should look like this. Let me just make sure I can get a good shot of that, yeah. This goes into your portafilter. Make sure your drip tray is empty. Push this back in. Take your portafilter, put it onto the machine, lock it in. So we'll make sure that we turn this grind amount knob to the flush setting. You'll see that it's flashing here. Let me see if I can get that a little bit better. There we go. Press to select. And then we're going to hit the one cup button to flush. This will go through a flush cycle flushing the machine and making sure that all of the, it cleans out all of the, um, any kind of debris in the system. And we'll go into my, my large sort of measuring cup, clear measuring cup down here. Okay, it's done. So you will see that I did put the drip tray back in. I forgot that uh, the flush cycle does expel into the drip tray. So you do want the drip tray there. Um, it's the descaling cycle where I want the big pitcher. That's where we're gonna push a, a bunch of water through. Um, so we'll clean this out now and we'll clean out the stuff that was down there. Okay, so now we're ready for descaling. In the descaling cycle, we want to first make sure that our water tank is filled just to the descaling line. And there is a, there's sort of an embossed descaling line printed on your water tank here. So I filled this up to that point. And then we're going to add descaling solution to the tank. And here I'm adding half of a bottle of descaling solution to the water where it's marked to the descaling line. Then like the flush cycle, you'll see that the, the descale light is lit up on the LCD display. And so what we'll want to do is press the menu button again, turn the grind amount dial to descale, press that to select, and then we're gonna hit the single dose button here. Now here I am going to remove the tray again. And I'm gonna get my, there we go.
And this is why I don't like it to use the drip tray because it's going to get full really quickly. I think it's just easier to use a separate reservoir for this cycle. You'll see it says descaling in process. And we'll go through a few purges like this to get that descaling solution through the tank and to get the scaling out of the system. So now it's asking us, now it's asking us to go to the hot water cycle. And so this is where you'll, we need to manually switch this to hot water and then finally to steam. It's gonna clean all the different components. So first it was the group head. You saw it uh, running the, the descaling solution through the group head. Now we have hot water. Hot water is, let me see if I can get this. Hot water comes from here. A small nozzle, there we go, a small nozzle at the back of the machine here. And then of course, steam from the steam wand. Apologies for the camera work. Get back over to here. So we'll need to switch this to hot water, which is back. Now it's gonna run the descaling solution through the hot water uh, nozzle. And then once the hot water cycle is finished, it will ask us to switch it to steam. We'll need to use the steam wand. Okay, now it's asking us for steam. So now I'm gonna take the dial and move it to steam. And the descaling solution is now running through the steam cycle, cleaning out any scale built up into the steam wand. So it went through the group head, of course the tank, the water's in the tank and heating in the tank, through the group head, then through the hot water spout, now through the steaming wand to clean all of that out. And once we're done with this, we'll need to completely flush the system. Fill tank. And now we can rinse everything out. Now to thoroughly rinse it and make sure I've got my reservoir completely full, put it back on the machine. And we'll just run the entire system through a few rinse cycles. And what I mean by that is we'll just simply Pretend like we're making coffee. We'll do a double shot or two. <clears throat> we'll make sure we use the hot water and we'll make sure we use the steam wand just to rinse all this new clean water through the system and get all of the, all of the descaling solution out of the system.
Now that we've cleaned everything through a few times, I'll pop the reservoir back off, clean it again, rinse it again, dry it out thoroughly, and then we're ready to make coffee again. Now, one last thing before I fill this again. Because I had cleaning solution, I had descaling solution in the reservoir, I do want to change this water filter. I've done it recently, but I'm gonna go ahead and change it anyway because we've had the, the scaling, descaling solution rather in here. So simply pull this out, <clears throat> the filter holder. You'll notice that uh, <clears throat> you've got the filter and a basket at the bottom. You also have an indicator for when to change this. So I need to change this in May. Uh, it's the beginning of April right now. So I'm going to actually switch this one more month. It's every two months you should be changing this. It's a little tough, so I'll get that in a second. And pop this off, pull the water filter out, and we'll put a new filter in. Now, new filters should soak in fresh water for five minutes before installing them. So we'll open a new filter, place it in the fresh water, let it sit there for five minutes before we reinstall it. <clears throat> 